Okay. Okay, well you're given formal notice to leave the premises, otherwise you're, you're guilty of uh, trespassing common law, it doesn't matter who I am. You're being told to leave the premises, and that if you don't do so, the police will be called in approximately five minutes, and you'll be guilty of common law trespass, and we will take you to court and seek remedy. Yep. I'm not doing business, mate. I'm, I'm, I'm simply, I'm simply, I'm simply regarding my private domain, which you are invading right now because I've asked you to leave and it's on film. So when the police turn up, okay. Good. It's got nothing to do with data protection, mate, and you can't quote stupid data protection laws to try and protect yourself. I didn't say anything about data protection. You mentioned data protection, young man. Don't talk shit. You don't have a clue what you're talking about. <coughs> Ooh, let me find something nice. Right, let's just dig out all the case law that You're in a public place, mate. I don't need your permission. It's not my opinion, it's the fact. In law. You picked the wrong wrong place to come, mate, and start spouting rubbish like that. I'm sorry. No, I've given you five minutes to leave the premises. No, but... You're making it a criminal matter by remaining here. I'm about to present to you all the case law that supports the fact that if you've been asked to leave the premises and you do not, you are guilty of trespass. That is a criminal offence and the police will be here to arrest you and remove you from the premises. You made your statement, that's fine. That's not a statement, that's a fact. Are you sure you're fact? Absolutely. It's got nothing to do with data protection, mate. You're in a public place, we can speak about whatever we wish. Six pieces of case law there that relate to you having to leave the premises, otherwise you're guilty of trespass. You have been informed of that fact. I've given you notice. Now we sit out and play the game of chess.